dare to think a little differently and dare to try to come uh, uh, a little more in contact with the, with, the, with the human nature or the nature of yourself. Right. Find yourself, to use the cliche. You know. Yeah. It's important. I mean, I mean, and not be embarrassed about it. I mean, there are uh, several people uh, that are really, really interested in, in the lyrics, and uh, it's cool to discuss with them. And, and, and they tend to have like a, a totally different interpretation of the lyrics than I initially have when I, when I write them. And that, that's a nice thing. I mean, um, if you can write a, a lyric as a piece of a poetry, uh, just you know, it's, it's, it's like uh, comfortable to read it, and it's open for thousand interpretations. And there's also an initial meaning of the author. Right. That's like a three-layer thing, and I think that's a that's a good achievement in a lyric. And we always try to do that. Always, uh, always a way to, to link it to a, to, a, to a certain uh, to a certain uh, story or or tale in, in, in the Norse mythology, and uh, it has become or uh, kind of or not not a, not a in a religious aspect, but I mean in a philosophical aspect. aspect. <laughs> So every every lyric I write, uh, I always instantly connected to to to, to a certain. Uh, well, if I feel something, I can relate it to a, a certain god and uh, remember what uh, is written by that god and like, mm -hmm. try to channelize it, 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 it everything into into a lyric. So everything is very much tied together. Mm -hmm. 